towards avoiding those type of playoff matches? Well, we are qualified, so that's the first step. So really please uh, for doing that. Um, now we want to achieve the second one, which is to finish first in, in the group because we know the difference that's going to make in terms of the games that you have to play and against two. And uh, that's uh, still something that um, we have to do. But um, in general, really pleased with the performance, with what the boys shown. And, uh, and we had some really dominant and good moments in the game, but we lacked a little bit in the final third, in the final action, especially inside the box, to put more shots on target and, um, and, and score more goals, I think. Evening, uh, three years ago, Granit Jaffa was booed off the pitch. Uh, today, he captains the team and scores the winner. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about the background of his turnaround in this Arsenal team mm. and how important is it for the rest of the players in the squad? He deserves that. I think uh, he has faced adversity in difficult moments. Uh, he has put his arm up when, when he had something different um, to do. His work ethic, the way he is as a person, the way he treats everybody around the club, and the love for this football club and, and his profession is unquestionable. And I think that uh, he fully deserves that. So I'm really happy to see him enjoying his, his career. I'm uh, Arsenal and PSV are doing really well in both their leagues with relatively young squads. How essential is it to you for the youth for the status of a club? So I, I missed the last part. How essential is it to you for the youth for yeah. the success of the club? Well, I think it's very important for everybody. Obviously, for them, it's some experience. Some of them, this is the first time they play in the Europa League, and it's great that they have the habit to compete in the competition, to understand how different it is to play in the Premier League, and to win. And um, it's part of the development, so really happy. Okay. Mikel, it's three 1-0 wins in a row. They obviously it's a famous scoreline at, at this club. I just wondered... Is that a warning sign for you or something that you're particularly proud of that you're grinding out these wins? Well, great to have clean sheets. I think today we should have scored many more goals. The same in the first half against Leeds. Um, and that would come, but um, I'm really pleased with the performance and how we played. Thank you. Hi, Miguel. Hi. Um, in the middle of this schedule of the game every three days, how challenging is it to keep rotating the squad, choosing the right team for the right game, keeping them all fresh, watching out for any knocks and injuries? You saw a few players feeling things today. They are giving me the right reasons to do so, and uh, I wouldn't be fair if I wouldn't give them the opportunities to do that, um, especially the way they behave, train, and uh, and care about the team. So I'm really happy. Everybody's participating. Everybody feels part of it, which is really important, and everybody then is competing and putting the performances that are needed to, to win the games. And then he's on the Kai Saka, you look like he's got a lot. Yeah, he got a kick, um, he was limping <coughs> a little bit, but hopefully he will be, he will be fine. Yeah, you that. Can you just tell us a bit more what Granite has added to his game? Obviously he's overcome a lot of the mental side of it, yeah. but he seems to be a much more complete player, is that fair? Or? He does, and, and we believe that he had the qualities to do that, and sometimes he's just unlocking something in in the player's mind and, uh, and be more open and receptive to other things and he's been extremely open, he's worked great all the time to learn, it's, it's fantastic and um, and now I think he's, he's playing off. Yeah. Okay. Um, just on Bakayo, um, he kept going and going there tonight, almost played a full game and he's, he's, um, he's started to build up apart from two so far this season and his, his level has been fantastic. But is that sustainable for him over the whole season, fitness-wise? Look at the top players in the world, they play 70 matches every three days and make the difference and win the game. If you want to be at the top, you have to be able to do that. And if we start to put something different in the mind of our young players, I think we are making a huge mistake. Because then it's one yes, one no. Now I don't play, now in Astros, if I don't play, I don't want that. I want them to be ruthless every three days. They're going to be knocking in my door, I want to play and I want to win the game. So it's not something that in terms of the numbers or, uh, or anything like that, it, it doesn't worry you in this particular case? Nobody, there is not a famous coach in the world that is going to tell me that they cannot do it. Because I've seen it, 72 games, score 50 goals. The players that score 50 goals if they play 38 games in the season, it's just impossible. Hi Mikko, um, that's eight wins in a row in all competitions. The confidence must be high. Have you noticed a difference from the last few games from the beginning of the season to where we are now? Have you noticed a difference in what you are seeing with your personnel? I think after every day, is, after every game, sorry, is, is a bit different. You know, I think it depends, yeah, on the win, but depends how you play, how you have um, felt during that match, and it's about just managing the temperature on the team, make sure that they play with enough confidence, but as well 
that we are in our toes and we are ready again to go to Southampton and put the performance required to, to win the match. And, and this is the challenge and, and we are enjoying the challenge. And the confidence is, is quite high at the moment. The confidence is, is there obviously and, and you can see that. Uh, but for me it's the hunger to go again on Sunday and, and try to win. You chose to go for any catcher on the left, then Gabriel Jesus down the middle went might maybe that the other way around. What was the thinking around the decision? Changing one thing instead of two. <laughs> and, <laughs> Very uh, simple. I just want to ask what's about Cedric. He's not played any minutes this season. Is that because of an injury problem or has it been difficult to leave now? Well, obviously, yet. Obviously, the competition is one. The second one is because he, he was injured for a while and he had a recurring injury. And, and now he's fit and, and he's a player that deserves to play. And, uh, and I want to give him the minutes because he, he deserves that. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.